Tonight's episode of Empire featured a very special guest. I want to thank Fox, Terrence, and Taraji for allowing Dame Dash to come on to play the character of Titan in tonight's episode. Very, very good episode. <clears throat> Hustle and Flow 2. Uh, uh, uh. Empire. This won't be in any kind of order. Jamal's struggling, y'all. Ooh! Jamal's struggling. His apartment looks the way FEMA operates. And in some form of inspiration or something like that, he saw fit to go outside at night in the middle of the hood and dance around and kick trash cans like this was a beaded video. This isn't a beaded video, my guy. You're a light-skinned dude who has a boyfriend out here prancing around in the hood. I'm not saying they're going to target you because you're gay. I'm going to say they're going to target you because you're outside and uh, you're prancing around like it's a beaded video. You think Michael Jackson? Turns out the oldest son be lying for his dad all the time. Such a shame. He kind of reminds me of Wyatt from Have and Have Nots, except for he's not white, have a drinking problem and substance abuse problem, and didn't kill a child, went to school, and successful, and was actually married in a stable relationship. Wait, what was I saying? Can you call the relationship really stable, though? Like, she's kind of what? He has a wild wife. Is her name Rhonda? I'm learning names. Is the wife's name Rhonda? I think that's her name. That bib alone has made this series worth watching and enjoyable for me to review. That was the funniest, awesome moment on Fox. She put on a bib. This is the last episode. This is not even this episode, but I just want to bring that back up. Don't forget that. I will never forget. I will never forget. So the tour bus got hit with a drive-by. Here's my thing. I'm mad at my driver. Where is my bus driver where you don't see the cars coming? You need to tell. We're on wheels. You need to hit that reverse button like they did back in Bad Boys. It's going like that. I need Bad Boy. I need like a Mike Lowry driver or I need the dude from Transporter to drive my tour bus because obviously this dude don't know what he's doing. You seen old, old light skinned girl, man. She, she was kind of scared, man. She was shook a little bit. She was shook a little bit. I was shook a little bit, man. I'd be, I'd be real. I'd be emotional. I'd they tried to take my life. Hakeem got caught up. We knew that was gonna happen. Um, Naomi Campbell was in his hot tub um, telling him a bedtime story when his girlfriend walked in. Now, for some reason, I thought Naomi Campbell was gonna like put her head on the bathtub. He's gonna be by so like, hey, what's going on, baby? She was right there. I ain't going nowhere. I, 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 I blah, 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 blah. Who's this? I like how afterwards the girl said, I don't really care about that, and he's just looking like so is. So it's cool, I can still smash old girl. Is it cool? You, you sure? Stupid. Now Lucius has this history with this other record label owner who looks like a mafia boss. I can't wait to see what happens with that. I'm guessing he was signed in before, and I guess he signed to a 360, apparently. Did him dirty, and he had a guy got out the deal. That's the backstory I'm getting, but I'm sure it's going to play out over other episodes. Empire signed Titan after a whole long, drawn-out story that involves a nation of Islam, a gun, Damon Dash, and two intimate conversations with his ex-wife. Good episode, very good episode. I only have one question out of this entire episode, this entire series, after this whole thing, the only question I have is who is dressing Gabrielle Sedebe? Who is dressing Precious? Who? I wanna know, they need to be fired. Before I go, I wanna thank the following people who have comments on my last video. I want to thank Pauline Robinson, DDGA, it's D-E-E-D-E-Y-G-A, I hope I said it right, if I didn't, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry if I said it wrong, Kitty G, Glenda Wyndham, Evelyn Alvarado, Madeline Jones, and it's K-A-C-W-C-C-J, it's K -A -C -W -C -C -J. I don't know how to say it, that's a cool name though, um, I can't say it though, but it's a cool name though, it's K, I don't want to butcher it, but it's K-A-C-W-C-C-J, thank you for leaving all the awesome comments on my videos, I appreciate it, I reply to all my comments, and I read the comments guys, they mean a lot to me, they're awesome, I love reading them, love replying, do me a favor before you go, please click that like button, that shows me you care, and you love watching the videos, hit that like button, leave comments, and share my video, before you go, I got some more to say. This Sunday, episode nine of Houston the Series will be up. It might be up before then, but no later than Sunday night, it will be up. And I'm doing another gas car giveaway. Find the promo code, 
send it to my Gmail, PSARadioShow at gmail.com, and you could win a free gas gift card. This time around, I want to see if I can get a minimum of 500 views. When I can get 500 views, I will give away that gas card because I know we can make that episode hit 500 views. Got 2,000 subscribers, 2,000 plus subscribers, amen. I can, I'm very confident episode 9 can get 500 plus views. It's a really good episode. Put a lot of work in it. I put work in it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I put work in it. So if you guys will watch it, share it, and all that, I would really appreciate it. My name is Shinidu, C-H-I-N-E-D-U, and this is PSA Radio, Empire Review. Scandal is on the way, and how to get away with murder. That's all on deck. Thank you for your time.